Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Tanner's Favorite Things. I'm Tanner Knight and today we have another favorite thing. Instead of guitars and music equipment today, we're going to focus on one of my other loves and that's mountain bikes. I have been mountain biking since the mid 90s. It's really one of my absolute favorite activities and something that I'll probably do my entire life as long as my body lets me. So uh, today we're going to take a look at a mountain bike item. And if you can read the box, it says Industry 9. If you know anything about mountain biking whatsoever, then you can probably guess what's in this box. But let's go ahead and take a look. We have a wheel, a rear wheel to be absolutely 100% correct. However, this is a wheel that my friend Chris ordered recently. He's going to replace the rear wheel on his Ibis Ripley. I think that this is going to be a really nice addition to that bike. So let's go ahead and take a look at some specs and see how this wheel differs from any other wheel. All right, so here we have the Industry 9 Enduro 305 rear wheel. And uh, this is boost spacing for the back. So 140 millimeters boost uh, in the back, and you can get the matching front wheel. Uh, Chris has decided to get the rear wheel, and I'm not sure if he's going to go for the full set at any point, but uh, we'll start here, and this is just a really beautiful item. So right out of the box, we have the wheel. It comes with rim strip installed, and that is full rim width, which, by the way, 305, the name of the wheel, it is 30.5 for an inner width between the, the two flanges here. And uh, it does feel like there is just a little lip on the, uh, the outer most rim there. So that'll grab your tire bead. And we also have our valve stems installed as well. So really nice looking there. These wheels have aluminum spokes. Industry 9 is known for having really fine quality aluminum machining and their spokes are testament to that. So very strong, very light, very easy to replace if you do have a, an issue with them, but they're known for being very strong and keeping the wheel very true. This particular rim is also aluminum. I believe they make the carbon equivalent. That's for folks who like that. So the main event of this wheel is obviously the Hydra hub, and this is a brand new hub from Industry 9, and it has some pretty impressive specs. They claim to have 690 points of engagement, 690. In my day, we were talking about 24 points of engagement and really thinking we were cool. However, today we're talking about 690 points of engagement, which equates to 0.52 degrees between clicks. So it's basically, there's zero lag in between when your foot engages the pedal stroke and the wheel engages on the dirt. So really nice item here and kind of the showcase of the wheel. So the final spec that I want to mention is that the weight of this wheel is a claimed 995 grams and that's in the 29 inch version. So we're dealing with sub thousand gram weight here and really, really the fastest engagement you can get plus the aluminum spokes on a really finely machined aluminum rim. You got a really nice package here. So we're going to go ahead and install it and hear how she sounds. All right, so now that we have this cassette installed, let's go ahead and give her a spin and see how she sounds. That is impressive. I would consider that a little higher pitch than the previous offerings from i9 that I've heard. So that's a very raucous free hub inside of this wheel. This is an i9 design. They do have this hub on OEM uh, spec bikes. So if you do want to buy a bike with this hub new, it's an option, a premium option in most cases. But this is one hell of a hub, and I'm glad that you got to see it today. All right, we've got this wheel mounted up with the Maxxis Minion DHR, I believe. That's what I recommend, DHR. Um, so we've got it all mounted up. We've got our rotor installed and the cassette installed, obviously. So let's go ahead and have a listen now that she's fully weighted.
That's a very unique sound. That's not exactly what I was expecting, but it's very unique, very loud, so it's recognizable to be i9, but different than what you may be expecting. So now, the other really important thing is just turning the pedals. So if I just engage very slightly, this thing is instant, just right on. There's absolutely no lag. It just picks right up. So there you go. The Hydra hub and freewheel with 690 points of engagement, 0.52 degrees between clicks. This thing is a beast. And uh, I'm sure Chris is really excited to now go give it a shot. So thank you, Chris, for letting us unbox this wheel and take a look at it, have a listen to it, and hopefully you got something out of this video, and we'll see you on the next one.